Antonio Jefferson, the 10th pick in the 2011 NBA draft. Coming out of San Francisco, being drafted by the Golden State Warriors at 6'5", 165 pounds, three years of college under my belt, averaging 22 points, eight assists, and five rebounds, shooting 37%. So far, Summer League has been doing pretty well. For me, I've been hitting some good shots, getting my jump warmed up. Fairly inconsistent, though. But, you know, it that is what it is in the Summer League. Also hitting some nice moves and always taking it to the basket, shooting some nice shots. Also, defense is a little lackluster, but we're going to work on that in the offseason. Getting the buckets, getting the blow bys. Ooh, hitting him with the nice little euro right there. We've been doing great. I shot 18 points, 19 rebounds, 3 assists on 8 for 21 shooting. But this offseason, I made sure to work on that by getting up shots every single day in the in a practice facility, making sure I could get up to at least 300 to 400 shots a day, working 6, 7 hours a day just on my shot without the team practices just to make sure I'm ready for my rookie season. Because, man, I got a good co-host and Stephen Curry. We just got rid of Monte Ellis in a trade, and they want me as their shooting guard, their starting shooting guard, and I'm going to make sure that shit happens. Sooner than later, the time was here. My rookie debut against the Suns. I'm going to be going against Jason Richardson and my boy Steph Curry is going to be going against Steve Nash. Today is going to be a good one. I make sure to come out strong. Steph Curry's always going to do Steph Curry things. He's going to dot me for my first NBA basket and I'm going to knock it down. A three-pointer to start off my career is exactly what I needed, exactly what I wanted, just to show him that, man, I got that shit, man. I'm not just no bum rookie that's going to be a bust. I'm going to make sure I knock shit down. Curry is going to do Curry things. He's going to be going for MVP this year, hopefully. I mean, without having Monte Ellis, they chose him. For Monte, he's ready to prove himself. And, man, when we drove to the basket, I knew right here that this team is going to be the team I want to play on, and I want to play for Steph Curry and the Warriors. Throwing that down, I already know. I'm going to hit some of the nastiest shots. Man, my bag is so deep, and these, the league just doesn't know it yet. The league doesn't know it. Also got a nice bag to me. Throwing a dot right there, you're going to get that. I ended off the game with 21 points, 11 assists, or 11 rebounds, 5 assists, shooting 8 for 14. Next up, we had a game against the Chicago Bulls versus maybe their people saying the future MVP and Derrick Rose. They want me guarding him tonight, and I told Coach I'll take care of it. We are 7-2, and two, and the Chicago Bulls are number one in the Eastern Conference right now. We're going to make sure to try to take them boys down. I'm going up. You know me, getting the game started with a little reverse dunk right there and then you know Derrick Rose is going to hit me right back I had duty guarding him tonight and that boy made sure he was going to give me buckets no matter what the case was when he hit me with this pump figure there I was like what the fuck happened and he knocked it down he's super hard to guard super tough I just don't know what it is even jumping at him he's just you can't guard Derrick Rose and the whole league knows that I finally made him a miss right here and I was like I'm taking this coast to coast call for the ball hit him with a nice little euro step getting the bump right there and getting to the basket we lose that game, but we we do win that game, and we win 21. I have 21 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, and Derrick Rose, I held him to 24 points on 8 for 15 shooting, which is still pretty good in my opinion. A few weeks later, I got my testament. People are saying this is the pass-the-torch moment with me and Kobe the Bean Bryant. Man, I am super nervous for this game coming up. We got Kobe versus me, super excited and nervous at the same time. Kobe's going to put some whack shit up. And you already know, fuck, I'm going to send that shit back. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to hit him with a little uh, nice little move right there. Three-pointer, bang, baby. They ain't going to hold me. We won that game. Kobe definitely dropped some shit on me, man. He had 31 points, four rebounds, four assists. But, you know, I had to get it. I had to come in, man, and do what I had to do to make sure that we won the game. Steph Curry's been carrying the squad, though. Now, today we got a game against LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, the big three. These are the finals competition. You know Curry's going to come out here every night. He does what he does, and he's just going to make shit happen. Nice little pull-up three. You know me, I'm going to pull up, and this was nasty. I dunked on LeBron in my rookie season. Got past Dwayne right, right there. I'm going to go up. Chris Bosh can't hang with me. Pass it into me again. I'm going to hit him with a jab. Ooh, ooh, I, I see the opening. They, they got it. They can't sag that. They can't sag off me, bro. Popping again. They sag off me again, and I'm gonna pull them. I'm gonna pull them. I'm pulling up, bro. Every single time, Curry gets the ball stolen. It's been a really intense game so far. And you know, LeBron's been doing his stuff, man. He's bullying me, backing me down. 
just doing whatever. The only person that's able to be able to get to LeBron is Steph Curry because he's just so fast and agile, and he also knocking down some threes. Oh, well, he's missing now. Dwayne Wade bringing up the ball. He's going to hit a nice. Oh, if LeBron's hitting threes, if LeBron's hitting threes, you know it's scary. 17 seconds left on the clock. Curry's got the ball. He's pump faking. He's passing. There's a guy open in the corner. LeBron's guarding him, though. He's going to probably pass it back. He passes it back. Pass it back to Steph Curry. Steph Curry's going to hit him with a hot step. Oh, oh, I get the ball. It's my time to shine. Euro step. For the game, man. My first game winner of my career. They don't, they can't stop me. I ended off the night with 22 points, eight rebounds, four assists. And with my pride and company had 37. We're holding the bond to 32. And if you hold the bond to 32, that's a good day, baby. Today, we got the best team in the league, the OKC Thunder, who are 33 and 10. They got James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant. This team is really tough to go up against, but Curry comes out here every night. He does what he does, and he's knocking down that shot right there. You know, but prime James Harden, it's, it's dude, this man is dominating the league this season so far, and as he should. And Russell Westbrook's playing great deep against Curry. Kevin Durant's getting to the basket, and we're just struggling. A steal right there. Russell Westbrook's going to go in for the and one foul. You know, I, I can't get a shot up to save my life. I'm going to pass it out to Steph Curry over there. He's going to bring it up. Steph Curry, my fool, that's my best man right there. Bringing it up. Ooh, Patty Mills dropping Steph Curry. Ooh. We lost that game 109 to 87. Just a bad loss on my part. I got taken out a little early. I didn't play all 35 because I was just playing bad. I got announced an all star rising star. And you know I'm gonna come in. I'm a rising star, man. I, I got my high, I got my hopes up, and I'm gonna knock it in for the lay, man. And then we got fucking Kyrie Irving doing Kyrie Irving things. Pass out to me, bang. You know I don't miss those, man. Dunk contest next weekend too. We're just who we're doing good. Clay Thompson. They said they were gonna draft him over me. Glad they didn't. But man, it's so nice being here at the All Star. I'm so thankful for all my fans and everybody who supported me throughout the way. And I just love it here. And I got invited to the dunk contest. Try to win that shit. At the end of the season, I end up winning Rookie of the Year, averaging 15 points, 9 rebounds on 30% shooting, which isn't the greatest. But, of course, they said he was going to be MVP this year. The youngest MVP ever, Derrick Rose. That man's been balling. I did make it all defensive first team, so thank you for all the votes and all the support recently. Man, we're going crazy. We got a first round entry with versus the Los Angeles Lakers, who are the defending champions. Seventh seed, we're the second seed. In game one, we do end up winning, and I drop 21 and 11. And then in game two, Curry has a fucking 50 piece, and we send him home. Game three, they do end up coming back just by one point. Kobe had a game winner in the final seconds. In game four, we do win by two points, and we just win by free throws. In game five, we, we lose dramatically, and I only score 13 points on 6 for 14 shooting. And then we win the series. We go up against the Dallas Mavericks, and we take home game one. They were gonna, they're going to take game two when I'm dropping 17 and 12. Game three, we're going to win by a larger margin with 36 and 25. And then, of course, we win. I'm having 28, 12, and 3. And then we lose game five by only nine points but then game six we come out and turn around and won 142 to 113 to go to the conference finals against a nuggets team that has won two game sevens against the minnesota timberwolves and they won against the best team in the league the okc thunder which is supposed to be the most dominant team in the league and the denver nuggets took them down and who do they have on their team they have former golden state warrior point guard monte ellis that the warriors gave up on because we lose an OT in game one. Game two, we are down by 10 points, and we have a chance to bring it back. And you know Steph Curry's going to do Steph Curry things. That's just who he is. He's going to hit a nice pull-up mid-range right there. And then, of course, 
you know, I'm going to foul out. So I put it all up to Steph Curry. And, you know, Steph Curry, you you man, he could do it by himself. He, he's dropping some dimes right there, dropping some buckets. Curry doing it himself, getting the foul and one. Ooh, that boy is tough. Curry knowing he's going back to the bench, knowing that it's on his shoulders now. He doesn't have me to help him anymore. And, man, he just locks in from this point on. Getting a stop right there. Pass up to Steph Curry. Steph Curry's going to bring it up. Thinking about it. Stop it. Pull it from fucking Narnia, and he's going to knock it down. Steph Curry again pulling up off the screen. Green. Monte Ellis getting a foul right there. Steph Curry slow moving. He dude, he has so much space right there, but it's such a deep shot. And nowadays, people don't take that kind of shot. But he's going to take it because that's just who he is, man. Monte Ellis getting to the basket, getting a little fucking floater right there. And Curry knows that it's all down to him. They drew up a play for Curry. Curry's going to run it, and I'm, the rest is history. He hits the game winning shot. We come out with a game two. He's proven that Monte Ellis is not the point guard of Golden State, that Steph Curry is the product. Game six, we lose by four, and it has to be forced to a game seven against the Denver Nuggets where we could come down and win it. We're down a lot, and this game is basically over. We are not going to win the game seven. They are going to win. Monte Ellis has been proven he is the point guard that Golden State needed. He's been doing nothing, breaking me and Curry's ankles at the same time. He's done everything in this game, contested. We were contesting him as hard as we could, and he was just knocking it down. Only thing still keeping us even alive in this game was Stephen Curry. And they even brought in their substitutes, man, because that's how much they were beating us by. In a game seven, teams don't do that. He had fucking 33 tonight on four rebounds, two assists. But they lost in four against the John Wall-led Wizards. And, man, that team is good as shit. They probably did, they definitely did deserve that win. The Denver Nuggets had to get upset at some point. In the offseason, the Warriors didn't like how I was playing, and they traded me to the Houston Rockets for the third pick in the NBA draft. With the first pick, the Cavaliers select Anthony Davis, which is a great pick. With the second pick, my new team, the Houston Rockets, picked Damian Lillard, a guard from Weber State. With the third pick, they added some running mate with Steph Curry and Andre Drummond. And I've been practicing a lot with this team, and I really like what we have to go in this season. Me and Damian Lillard as a backcourt. I'm really enjoying it. Tonight's our first game where me and Damian Lillard could showcase our talents. I could showcase my talents. But Paul George is Paul George, and he's going to be pulling up from way downtown doing his thing. But I'm bringing it up in my new jersey, in my new uniform, so I'm going to do whatever I got to do. And I'm slamming it down. First play of the game in our possession. I go up and slam it down. Show them what they're missing out there in Golden State. Dame Lewis got a quick trigger on himself, and bang, he's going to pop one. We're going to end off the first game of the series with 38 and 23 combined. And man. That's a good game. Also, the Houston Rockets did assign me to a five-year extension, which bring me to six years, $51 million. I got re-invited to the dunk contest as a pre-dunk contest winner. And just say, I showed out. This year, I made the West All-Star Team starters, man, and I'm going to showcase my steals. I'm a dunk contest winner, so I'm going to go out there, cross them up, and hit them with the dunk, man. I won MVP. Antonio Jefferson averaged 21 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 blocks, 83% field goal percentage, or free throw percentage, and 42% three-point percentage, or 53% shooting. I deserve that MVP, and the person I was behind in the MVP racing was Stephen Curry, and I ended up up top, 
and I become the MVP against Steph Curry, which fuck Steph Curry for that after they traded me. I also made an all-defensive first team, and we're going to go into these playoffs, man, and I'm going to be excited. We get past all the teams. We beat San Antonio. We beat New Orleans, and now we have a chance to knock off the greatest team people are saying ever assembled in the OKC Thunder. And, of course, you know me. I'm going to throw some dots out there. He's going to pull up right there. You know, but Russell Westbrook, he's Russell Westbrook, man. He's going to be baby and Dame Lillard all night. He's been he's been having that thing. Me, I'm going to go in, pass out to Dame Lillard. I trust him. He's got a quick trigger, like I said, and he's going to bang that three-pointer right up there. You know me, I'm, I'm getting to the basket with a little bit of time left, and that was the dagger. We do win the series. We're going to go to the NBA Finals for the first time in my career. Man, I'm excited. We're in the finals against LeBron. We have a nine-point deficit. If we win this game, we will win the NBA finals. Of course, I'm going to come out there like young Kobe in his prime. I'm going to knock down the post fadeaway. Dame Lillard is just doing Dame Lillard's thing. He's finally getting accustomed to the NBA, knocking down that three-pointer right there. I know I have a chance to win. LeBron comes out from the timeout, and he's knocking down those shots. And this timeout, we have a chance to hit the dagger to send them home and win the finals championships. We run up the play. I'm going to hit a step back, throw it to Dame Lillard wide open. He's going to knock it down for the dagger, and that is going to be the NBA championship. Houston Rockets are the new NBA champions. Just tremendous. All the travel, all the practices, all the meetings, all the games, wins and losses, the emotion, the exhaustion culminating into tonight. And whenever you win the NBA championship, there is a level of accomplishment and excitement that really can't be matched. But pretty amazing to have accomplished this goal. The celebration is here, and this place is going crazy. The bench loves it. The fans obviously overjoyed. This is one of those moments these players will never forget. Now, let's take you to the presentation of the Larry O'Brien Trophy. NBA commissioner doing the honor. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Zeno. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe. As always, I love you guys for all the support recently. If you guys want to see more, make sure you guys drop a comment down below and see you guys later.